So welcome back to my channel, this is Gamer Dom. Ever wondered how bouncy the Oho is? No? No, just me then. So this is the Japanese Tier 8 Super Obese Heavy Tank. Um, and I'm here with Saboteur who's in the uh, Panther, the very sleek Panther 2 German Tier 8 Medium Tank. We're a Malinovka, it's a tier 8 game, and wonders never cease, no artillery. But hey, and that is an Oho's wet dream, uh, because this thing is an arty magnet, just like I'm a babe magnet in my dreams. Anyway, um, fired just a random shot into where their cap is, just suddenly then realised that, oh damn it, I just fired premium because since the last patch, my shells have been reordered the wrong way. I should have the HE first on the list, so there you go, I've just re reloaded HE. So we're trundling up the hill, um, that's the only decent thing for a heavy to do. Um, and really, at this point, I'm starting to get nervous already, because if you look at our base, uh, and where we all are, we've got a good spread of tanks coming up the north, but all those mediums are just faffing around in the middle. And we had a very inexperienced, we'll put it that way, Cromwell and a T-3485 um, and a not particularly experienced Comet all doing absolutely diddly squat. And instead of doing what that Scorpion's suggesting, which is quite right, is to try and spot uh, and help the team, they just seem to get, I don't know what they're doing, but they seem to have just headed straight into the, into the buildings around our cap and done absolutely nothing. Uh, there are no lights on either team, and that is a challenge. So it's lovely not to have artillery, artillery, but to have no scouts and have mediums that seem to want to just hide is not great. So, trundling up the hill, I'm already thinking this isn't going to go well, and um, <laughs> the problem when you're in something like the Oho is that it's so, so slow moving. You can see I'm doing 20 kph, nearly 20 kph going up the hill but everything's leaving me behind. By the time I get up there, it will all either all be over or the enemy will come steamrolling down the other way and I'll have to or I'll have to turn around and go back to the base. Which isn't great when you're in a slow moving vehicle like this one. So first contact. Uh, the Indian Panzer has been spotted as has an I6 and has as has a KV4. So Enemy are committing relatively hard up here. They've got all, oh, and there's already something approaching our base. So that's not great. And I was debating at this point whether or not to push down into the lower terrace of, of the hill here, because I think um, with no artillery, we've got plenty of tanks up top. I could maybe come around the inside of the tanks. And one of the big problems with this vehicle is its uh, gun depression um, off the left hand side, left front of the turret. Directly off the left it's absolutely fine. Spectre is shot down there on the S on the A44 but I don't think I hit him. Uh, we're already 2 nil down. So there's the KV-4 down there um, and I think right let's go and have a ram. Unfortunately I didn't really get enough speed up here. So I take a big hit as I come over the top from the Centurion, but I do plant a 300 hit into the KV-4. He obviously wasn't paying attention to me, attract him. Uh, absolutely zero ramming damage on him. But I'm going to hold him in place. He's got virtually no chance of penning me. I've got 200 millimeters of frontal armor. And really, he's got to hit that uh, commander's hatch. He's changed to premium, still can't get me. The A44 takes the opportunity to come around the back pumps one into him. But that's our first kill. The team is already decimated. We've lost our mediums and everything else that was cowering in the base. Um, we're down to just a TD and another TD coming back to hold the cap, which is not a great scenario. So we need to push on. We need to either push on or go back. Um, difficult to go back with all these heavy tanks behind us, so I think we've got to clear these guys quick. So I'm being quite aggressive, planted a nice shell into the IS-6, was aiming for that sort of uh, loading hatch above the gun, which is a soft point. If you can pen through there, you do maximum damage. Nice hit into the lower plate of the uh, Indian Panzer and somebody else takes him out. Um, and they're running. So 
So the KB-13 is running, the I-6 is trying to, he knows he can't get back, he tries a shot on me but again the 200 mils of armour bounces his shell. I'm locked on as I come past and put a big 150mm shell into him. There's our friend in the Centurion who manages to plant the shell into the side of me and takes out my ammo rack. Quickly repair that because the aim time, <laughs> the load time on this is already 14.6 seconds and without a uh, an ammo rack it gets even worse. So I'm taking hits, another I6 hit, Dickamax has hit me about three times a um, couple of shots from uh, from the Dickamax were gold another Dickamax gold shot but they're, they're hit, trying to hit me at range and um, clearly the 200mm armour is just holding them up. So I've got down off the hill but I'm kind of now in a sticky situation. I'm pausing here because I don't know quite what to do next. I've done a thousand damage. I've been hit 16 times according to my hit log. Um, but I'm down to 421 damage. And the trouble is with all these big heavy tanks is they don't have a huge view range. So I can't actually see anything else. And so if I carry on going, I'm going to blunder into things. But the, uh, I, the IS-2 tries to pop, uh, spot something but uh, pays the ultimate price plant a nice shot, shot into the IS-3 and bounce a shot from the Dickamax which was premium, another non-premium shot from the Dickamax and a couple of shots HE from the uh, KV-13. Here we go, 23 shots I've received. There's a nice SU-100 now firing at me. I've got everything firing at me. The uh, KV-13 is firing HE as I say. And really I'm kind of stuck. I can't go forward, I can't go back. Um, I want to get that IS-3 out of the way, but here's that's the gun depression problem. See, I couldn't get my gun down because you see those little mini turrets in the front. Um, they get in the way. Off to the right like this, I can get the gun down fine. Um, first shell didn't really allow it to fully aim, and that was a shame because I missed that uh, IS-3. IS um, we pulled it back a little bit, seven till ten, but you know, really, we've got nothing uh, back in our back in our cap. Just the um, what we got left: the VK3601, um, Saboteur in the Panther, uh, FV4202, and myself left. That is it. I'm still on 421 damage, and they're going to start capping any minute now. Oh, and there goes the uh, KV-13. Is he making a run for it? Is he trying to flank me? Uh, and I'm thinking at this point I need to head back anyway. So this kind of decides it for me. I think I'm going to head back because I'm not really doing anything there. I can't push on. There's a whole load of implants, entrenched TDs. Bounce yet another shot off the uh, KV-13. He was firing HE again. Um, and planted a beautiful shot on the move. Very unusual to hit with this gun on the move. SU-100 is clearly down there somewhere and is also trying to hit me, but I bounced his first shell. Oh, and there's a FV firing at me, FV-4202 firing at me, and I bounced him as well. So I'm up to 29 hits. How many more can I take? Still got 421 health, but that's not going to last long. So I've decided there's absolutely no point going back to a cap. I'll never get there in time. Um, there's an SU behind me, there's an S another SU there, there's the SU-100, I'm not going to get a chance to fire, am I? No. Unfortunately, I got taken down. The KV-13 finally manages to pen me after I don't know how many rounds he fired, and the SU-100 um, finishes me off with an AP round into the side. So, a bit of a disappointment, but, you know, what can you do? Oops. I've, uh... I did take a whopping 33 shots. What's particularly annoying, or we'll just what we go try and circle the uh, KB. We go, not we go. Saboteur, try and um, circle the FV. Um, FV kind of screwed up because he ran into the dead tank, which which cost him a, a shot or two. And the panther, the panther can do this. I mean, you know, reality is the game's lost. He might as well take as much damage as he possibly can. And he takes down the Panther, but it's going to be time over. What I was saying, one of, one of the things that really annoyed me at the end of this game, as I hadn't realised it at all, was that uh, one of my the current mission I'm on from Heavy Tank, uh, I forget which number it is, but for the T-55A, I need to block uh, three times my hit points in a Heavy Tank. 
and also need to do 2,000 damage. Um, and this game, <laughs> you can just about see under here, I did 1,993 damage, and I blocked. Well, it's three times. It's more than three times my uh, my health. So that was really, really galling. I could have done that mission, and I've been trying to do it for quite a long time. Um, well, you know, my my attitude on missions is you just do them, and if they happen, they happen. But um, it nearly happened by seven damage points. One of those shells had been slightly in a higher roll, or I'd hit one of the spectator shots, or one of the shots at the end there. If I'd managed to get that shell off on the SU-100 before he killed me, I would have done that mission. Ah, annoying. So it never really felt like we were going to win that game. Um, and I, you always get a feel in games whether or not your um, your team looks competent or not. And the fact that we just had a couple of very very poor low tier mediums sitting in the cap uh, trying to defend the base um, was pretty worrying. And sure enough, the enemy outplayed us. And sometimes you just say hats off to them; they did better than us. However, I thought the um, what was fascinating for me was just how much punishment this Oho could take. In, in, not in its in natural environment. I mean, I was in open ground. I was getting shot at from all different directions. Okay, I was top tier, um, but um, even so, it's um, it, and there was no artillery, so I, you know it was kind of par perfect scenario for it. But even so, I was I was stunned at how much I actually bounced here. So we'll go straight to the detailed report. I took 33 hits, seven of which penetrated, 26 of which bounced. For 6,140 uh, damage blocked. 6,140. Now, as mentioned briefly in the video, but what really was galling about this was that I have a mission ongoing with um, for the T55A or whatever it is, um, and I need to block three times my um, health pool in a heavy tank and do 2,000 damage. So 6,000 is three times um, a no-hose hit pull, which is good. Tick that box. But I needed seven, <laughs> seven more uh, damage points to complete the mission. Ah, how galling is that? Anyway, let's go back and have a quick look. So we got Bruiser, we got Far for Effect, and we got Cool Headed. Um, look at all the bounces here from all the different tanks. Uh, three from the... SU. He got me in the end, but uh, I bounced three of his shots prior to that, including a gold shell or two. Uh, Indian Panzer bounced one of him, four off the Dickamax. Oh, there were two Dickamaxes. Okay, four. That's why it was so much shell eater was coming in on me. Uh, one off the FV, four off the Dickamax, the other Dickamax, two off the IS-3, two off the KV-4, and three of the IS-6. So, yeah, massive bouncy. Uh, finished top on the team on base XP, 1,993. I can't believe that. I didn't realise until afterwards how close that was to doing that mission. Um, damage, plus one kill, 597 base XP. Uh, Saboteur came in second, 3,500 three damage in the Panther 2 is a, is a good return. That's a nice tank, the Panther 2. And he got two kills, 587 base XP. Um, some of these guys... This platoon two down here. I don't like to name, you know, name and shame particularly because we all have bad days. But really, guys, they just sat in the base, and I get that they're low tier tanks in a big battle. But at least if they'd come out and scouted around that middle area, we might have had a better idea to hear about what was happening and where things were. Or even if they'd gone wide to the other to the one line and and just sort of spotted what was coming through or deterred what was came down that line it would have helped but they appeared to just to sit in the base and sit in those buildings and do absolutely diddly squat did they even fire a shot and he fired one shot and he fired none yeah yeah and a top a top tier is three fired two shots did no damage whatsoever took a few shells three thousand damage but yeah. anyway so, uh, we were back on that. I fired 14 shots, hit with 6, uh, did damage with 6, and, and got splash damage for that 2,000 damage. If only I got one more hit, that's all I can say. 
33, as I say, was the number of hits we took. Seven penetrated, 26 bounced for 6,140 block damage. We even spotted two vehicles uh, and we did 1,734 base XP. The good thing, again, about firing HE out of this gun is that um, often you'll track things and that obviously gives you assistance damage when they are subsequently hit by other tanks. 41,000 credits after costs, which were quite substantial, came out at just under, just over 18,000. With a premium account, would have been 4,600 with a non-premium account. And with a platoon bonus, 941 XP. That's the bouncy yo-ho. Sounds like something you need, you need ointment for, doesn't it? How's your bouncy yo-hos? Um, anyway, on that thought, I will leave you. This is Gamer Dom. Thanks for watching. Uh, it, please... If you enjoyed this video, click like, and if you haven't already done so, click on the subscribe button. Really, really easy to do. It means you get to see uh, all the content and get notified when it gets uploaded. Uh, at the moment, I'm doing uh, at least five videos a week, um, sometimes six, um, depending on what my, what my real life schedule is, is like and how many decent games I've got to show you, or fun games to show you. So. Um, if you subscribe, you get notified when they when they're up. So that makes life easier. Anyway, thanks for watching. Enjoy your games. Have fun. Remember, it's just a damn game, and enjoy yourself. And we'll see you again soon. Game it up.